welcome to another video so today i've just had the cutest package turn up ever look at this guys this is absolutely adorable the attention to detail is on point so this is from to be glam and it is the take me home poly gel kit so should we take a look inside so inside the lid it says hello gorgeous love this packaging really like it look at this to be glam nail extension gel kit in a little cute envelope honestly guys this is really really nice packaging unlock the new trends in nail art so this is your instruction leaflet so this is to be glam's contact details you've got the email address there instagram and facebook how cute is this little envelope as well i love that so then we've got the mini uv led lamp cute i like that it's got the holes in the legs you know so if you don't want to pull the legs out you just want to hold it over quick like flash curing or something really like that you've got all the instructions on the back there this looks a really cool kit so you've got a 100 180 grip file you've got the poly gel brush look at this brush guys look at the little flowers on the ends they're so cute so you've got the spatula one end and these lids fit really tight as well and we've got a really nice brush i like this brush it's got the longer bristles on it oh look at these look at these bottles the lids mat, the bottles mat. So this is the base coat. You get eight mil in your glass bottles. You got your directions on the back. So the base coat cures in 30 seconds in an LED lamp. This is the top coat. Again, 30 seconds or two minutes. I love these bottles. <laughs> Can't wait to try this. Then we've got, these are really interesting. So these are the 2B Glam plastic jewel forms. You get the 12 sizes, but you get two different types. So we've got the normal original jewel forms, but do you know what I like about these? They're not the ones with the big curve on that end up making your nails look like claws. And they're a really nice size. Look how big those are massive and then we've also got the stiletto ones i've not tried these either so i'm really excited to try these i think i'm going to be using these today that is quite a small size but i have heard that the new kits what tuba glam's brought out the stiletto jewel forms are actually bigger so that's good they have upgraded those yeah, these stiletto ones do often work out quite small. So, I think I'm going to use the stiletto today, but we'll see as we go along. And now, should we take a look at the poly gels? So, I'm just going to swatch them on a bit of paper, guys. So, these are the poly gel tubes. You get 15 grams. This is just in pink. On the back, you've got your directions it says here cure for 30 seconds in an led lamp or two minutes in a uv lamp Ooh, 30 seconds eh we'll have to give that a try you got your ingredients on the back love that oh it feels like a really nice poly gel guys it feels lovely and stiff I much prefer non-sticky stiff poly gels. So this one is Sweet Talk. This is going to be my favourite nail bed colour ever, I reckon. Yeah. Uh -huh. My perfect nail bed colour. Definitely going to be using that today on my nails. 
So the Pure is a clear. Can't wait to try this clear either. I have heard some very good reviews of this clear. In fact, Aggie did a comparison video the other day. If you've not watched that, head over and watch that, guys, because she tested a few different clear poly gels and this was amazing. So that is pure, the clear. And it does look really clear as well. Look at that. Very clear, not cloudy whatsoever. So this one is Oh She Pretty and oh, wow, look at that, look at that guys, oh come on camera please pick that up, look at that, it's got that kind of bluey purple UV shift to it, stunning, so that's a purple shimmery one. Next one is gorgeous as well by the looks of it. You're my queen. Love that. Really, really pretty. Again, really nice nail bed colour, but with a shimmer. Quite like shimmery nail beds at the minute. I've seen a few designs with shimmery nail beds. Look at that. Again. A really pretty shimmery one. And then the last one is pretty much. Look at that. That is like a jelly pink poly gel and it's got a golden shimmer running through it. But it's also got tiny bits of hollow glitter inside. That is really, really pretty as well. I love them. So, it did say that these cure in an LED lamp in 30 seconds. So, I'm going to give it a try. Pop it in my lamp 30 seconds. Right, so, yeah. They are all fully cured, guys. And they're really opaque. Right, so I've got my dual forms already sized up. Let's get some nails put on my right hand, shall we? So all my prep work's done. I've pushed my cuticles back, scraped all the dead skin away, removed the shiny surface off my nail plate. So now I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator and my acid base primer. And once that's dry, I shall then go in with my Tubi Glam base coat. So I'm gonna apply that on, oh, let's take a little look at this first. Quite a nice smell to it actually and it's a nice runny base coat I like a runny base coat everyone's preference is different but for me I just find with a runny base coat it doesn't bulk the nails out too much so I'm gonna apply that to all five nails Right, so I'm going to give them a cure for 30 seconds. First nail is going to be the middle nail, and I'm going to be doing a whole nail of this. Oh, she pretty. So I'm going to get it all pressed down 
into that dual form. Want it nice and thin at the cuticle. Making sure that I'm getting it right up them side walls. Make sure you don't miss them side walls at all. Right, I want to try something that I've seen someone do before. I want to get my little LED lamp out. This jobby here. But it means I'm going to have to turn one of my lights out for a minute. I'm hoping it's not going to be too dark for you guys. Right, this looks a really good idea, so I wanted to give it a try. So I've got my little desk lampy thingy jobby. I've turned it on ready. Now I want to stick this to my cuticle area first. I just want to get that bit down first and cure it. So that's going to kind of hold it in place. So then I can come and do this bit and get this bit all neat without it, without worrying about it affecting my cuticle area. Right, so now that can go in my big lamp for a full cure. Alright, that's one done. Four more to go. I'm not sure about that lamp idea, you know. I think it's a bit of a faff ass about. So, next one is going to be my ring finger. On this nail, I'm going to be doing a French tip. I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. So, I'm going to start off by doing the nail bed first. Might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. And this poly gel, guys, is so nice to work with. It's not soft but it's also not too stiff either. It's more on the stiffer side, but it's not sticky. It's so nice. I think I may have just found my favorite poly gel brand, guys. This feels lovely really nice consistency right so that is my nail bed I'm hoping that it's gonna be alright don't worry too much because you can file this okay so I think I'm just gonna stick this straight in the lamp you know guys I don't know I don't know I might not I think I might Yeah, straight in the lamp. So that is that one done. That is definitely way too long, but hey ho, I can I can file it. It's not a problem. Now we are on to these three. So these three, I am gonna be doing a glitter fade. So I'm using the Too Big Glam base coat, I'm gonna fill that tip with the base coat. Again, making sure I get right up the sides. So I'm going to start off by filling it quite packed at the bottom and then fading it out as it goes up the nail. And then I shall cure that for 30 seconds. Right, so that glitter is all cured in place. Now, oh, let me go. I'm going to pop some of the sweet talk into the dual form. Then I'm going to pat and press that into place, making sure it's nice and thin around that cuticle. Making sure I'm getting it right up them side walls. So that's all filled in. Now I'm going to put it on my finger. Make sure 
sure it's nice and straight. Give it a cure. I'm back to this ring finger now. So I have filed around that smile line with my metal file just to crispen that smile line up and shorten that nail bed because it was far too long. Now I'm sizing up where that nail bed ends using those lines on the jaw form. So now I'm going to go in with Oh She Pretty. But I'm only going to fill the end of the jaw form. And I know now I only need to take this purple up to the line where my nail bed ends. So I have never tried this before. So I've not got a clue how much I need or whether I'm doing it right. Not a clue. So I'm just going to try that amount. Right, so now I think I'm doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm going to pop that on the nail and push it back like that. And I want it to kind of just squidge up that nail bed. So there we go. That's all of them done now, guys. So I'm going to start off by popping all these jewel forms off first. Just giving them a little wiggle wiggle and they will pop off just like that. Look at them, guys. They're so pretty. I am loving these. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> So now I'm going to give them all a file and a buff off camera because it's awkward trying to record it. And then it will be time for top coat and some blingage. These are going to get blinged right up. So let's get on with it. Right guys, so they've all been filed and buffed. So now it's time for some crystals. So I'm going to use the 2B Glam Clear, which is called Pure. And I'm going to use that to stick some of the crystals because one of the crystals is pointy back and using clear poly gel, it's really strong. So I'm just going to pop a tiny, I only need a teeny tiny bit of that. That is plenty. And I'm going to pop that in the middle like that and then I just want it to kind of so I want there to be like a crystal swoosh on this nail and then I need a tiny little bit here so I'm going to do a little design on this smile line. Like that. So this gorgeous butterfly here is a pointy back. I want that in the middle, like that. And I want a flower. Pink flower. And then on these three nails, I'm going to do like um, a bit of a rectangle kind of design with a little dangly bit. See, all gone. I told you I was imagining it. Oh, my days, guys. I was absolutely devoted when I saw those come out the lamp and they were orange. I completely forgot those flowers are colour changing flowers. And I hate that orange. So now I'm praying for no sunshine for the next few weeks. Right, there we are guys, who is now ready to see these bad boys top coated? I'm dying to see this, cannot wait! So I'm now going to give them all a coat of the 2B Glam top coat and that'll be them all finished. And let's take a quick look at the top coat as well. Again, hardly any smell to it whatsoever and it is a really thick top coat really thick now unlike base coat I love a thick top coat especially if the nails are a little bit lumpy bumpy you've put glitter on sequins on using a thick top coat it just covers them lumps so much easier than a thin top coat
who's ready to see this purple? That's probably where you're going to see that purple better, guys. Are you ready? He's ready to see it. Look at that. Wow. That is so beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. So there we are, guys. That is them all done. What do you think? I absolutely love them. This is the first full-on bling set I've ever done on myself. So we'll see how I get on with them. Mm. I really like these. I can't stop looking at them. Like I said earlier, this is the first time I have had long stiletto nails. I feel really a badass in them. <laughs> them jewel forms are amazing these give you a really good shape they give you a really good apex really good structure yeah i really really like them jewel forms the thumb didn't fit obviously so i had to use the other ones but i think it still looks all right so yeah that's everything guys let's take a quick look at the kit again very quickly because this kit is to die for You've got your jewel forms, two different shapes. You've got your mini lamp. You've got your base coat, your top coat, your brush. I absolutely love this brush. It was a really nice brush to work with as well. You've got your nail file. And then all of these gorgeous poly gels. I'm going to be using these a lot, guys. Let me show you. So yeah, that's everything in the kit. A really good kit, guys. You've got everything here that you need to create yourself a set of nails. Whether you are a beginner, whether you are a professional, a great kit all round for anybody. Not only is this a great kit, not only is the product amazing to work with, but also all these products are vegan, cruelty free, and hemma free so they are really good quality as well and they're not expensive either like i said at the beginning guys i'm going to leave all the links down below in my description box so yeah please go check them out because you will not be disappointed i am absolutely buzzing i want all of their kits now they've got quite a few different ones to choose from so i want to say a massive thank you to tubi glam for sending me this poly gel kit my favorite poly gel kit hands down without a doubt right i'm gonna let you get off guys because i've kept you way too long i'm sorry but i'm hoping it was worth it i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already and i hope to see you in the next one take care bye